Somehow, we find ourselves in another zero to one moment for AI. And this time, it's text to video generation from Runway Gen 2. What's going on, guys? It has been a heck of a week for generative AI video. So what we're gonna do tonight in this video is go through what we've learned this week, what we've seen come out, whether it's research or actually the ability to dig into new text-to-video tools. And we're gonna see really where this leaves us and where some people are thinking about where we might go next. So it started off earlier this week, we started getting these drops of new NVIDIA research. Pete here says, while still far from Hollywood quality, Quality, it's pretty damn impressive how fast this is moving. He then shares a few examples from the NVIDIA research. So there is a stormtrooper vacuuming a beach. There's a sunset time lapse at the beach with moving clouds and colors in the sky, 4K high resolution. An astronaut feeding ducks on a sunny day, reflections from the water. So these are obviously pretty incredible that you're seeing these prompts, the type of thing that we previously just would have had to create images, which is already mind blowing enough, actually producing these short videos. Like Pete said, this is research. This is research from NVIDIA. The research is called Align Your Latents, High Resolution Video Synthesis with Latent Diffusion Models. And on their webpage, they have just a ton of examples. So this is Traveler walking alone in the misty forest at sunset. This is Bigfoot walking in a snowstorm. This is a fox dressed in a suit dancing in the park. And you can see that this isn't all necessarily photorealism either. This is a fantasy landscape trending on ArtStation 4K high resolution. This is a fat rabbit wearing a purple robe walking through a fantasy landscape. This is an animated painting of fluffy white clouds moving in the sky. It doesn't take much to understand how much creativity this could unlock, to be able to dream something, to think something up, and actually see it come to life as video. Now, in terms of what the research actually is about, I'll read just the very basic abstract. Latent diffusion models enable high quality image synthesis while avoiding excessive compute demands by training a diffusion model in a compressed lower dimensional latent space. Summarizing that, or at least ridiculously reducing it, I think what it says is that they're finding a way using these latent diffusion models to do this sort of training without it taking up as much resources as it might have in the past. They say, here we apply the LDM paradigm to high resolution video generation, a particularly resource intensive task. We first pre-train an LDM on images only, then we turn the image generator into a video generator by introducing a temporal dimension to the latent space diffusion model and fine tuning on encoded image sequences, i.e. videos. So basically they're going from training images to training sets of images that become videos. And this has got tons of people thinking about what the future might be. Jim Fan, who's a scientist at NVIDIA, says, exciting work on efficient and high resolution text to video diffusion from my colleagues at NVIDIA. Possible next step to make a long form movie, and then he breaks down what he thinks are the next steps to make a long form movie. Now there was additionally another part of the research. It wasn't just these sort of short snippet videos. They were also looking at driving simulators. So Smoke a Wee here shows this incredible video that looks just like a dash cam from any car that you've ever seen before and writes, this road doesn't exist. Those cars aren't real. Just NVIDIA AI things. Obviously there are a ton of applications for this as well. Okay, so that is one bit of research that's gotten a lot of people excited. Another thing that's come out recently in this sphere is Adobe's Firefly for video editing. So they added Firefly to Premiere Pro earlier this week, which people anticipated, but it's still really cool to see. And one of the features that people are most excited about is the way that they can change videos with just text. So you see here, change it to a golden hour, and all of a sudden, this video becomes set at twilight and dusk instead of when it was filmed during the day. So Rowan sums this up, he says, edit video using simple commands, plus AI color corrections and enhancements, animated text and motion graphics generation, matching B-roll footage, music and sound effects, auto-generated storyboards. So this is a type of AI that's taking an existing video and using technology to change it using only text. This is sort of similar to what 
of one startup in this space, Runway, has been doing with their Gen 1. So Gen 1 of Runway, there's a lot of different tools that Runway has, but one of the ones that captured most people's notice was video to video changes. So this is an example just using Runway's demo assets. So this top video is the original input. It's just a set of people who are kind of walking on a train platform, looking off into the distance. So that's the original video. Now over here, you can see there's a set of demo images that can be used to modify this video. There's lava, there's a flower pattern, there's a vibrant pattern that's almost kind of hippie-ish. Well, I chose Cyberpunk and it took a few minutes and it converted that video above into what you see here. Again, this is just their demo video. It's the same three people walking, the same motion, but a totally different visual schema. So Runway Generation 1 was already unleashing a ton of creativity, but about a month ago, Runway announced Generation 2, what they call, quote, the next step forward for generative AI. Runway is a multimodal AI system that can generate novel videos with text, images, or video clips. And this just got people so excited. The demo videos were really impressive, and people were just waiting to see when this would come out. We also started to see folks who were at Runway sharing what they were experimenting with. So this comes from just about a week ago, April 13th, Always Editing, who's at marketing at Runway, says experimenting with Runway Gen 2 to achieve different styles using the same prompt. You can see here this very cool guy in a lab in a sort of noir city setting, and it just had people kind of mouthwatering. Well, Earlier tonight, tonight is Thursday, April 20th, when I'm recording this, Gen 2 started rolling out to folks who are in the Runway Discord. Twitter is now filled end-to-end -end with these incredible text-to-videos that Gen 2 has enabled. So Chris Castanova says, text prompt, a woman wearing a white dress meditating, standing on water, peaceful day, the most beautiful scene. The Infinite Dude says, Survivor. The Infinite Dude put together a number of different clips and called it Survivor, Chrome and Steel. Ethan Mollick says, so practical text-to-video generation just happened. Here's futuristic car speeding using Runway V2. Ben Gillen says, I got Runway Gen 2 access earlier. It feels like mid-journey V2 last year. I love it as is, but this year is going to get wild. The video you're watching here is woman washing window of car in Brooklyn, New York intersection. Gen 2 is in the building, says Uncanny Harry AI, and it's just an image of a guy kind of strutting down the street in a really fancy gold jacket. And these videos are just meant to show that there is so much of this starting to pop up all over Twitter. Another one here, a cat at the stage of the music festival. This is going to unlock people's creativity in just such a transformative way. Here's another great example from Ben again. I used Runway Gen 2 to visualize a 140-year-old millennial in the future. Say hello to our future past selves. It's really inspiring stuff. And one of the things that's really exciting to me is how far ahead people are already thinking about this. So John Finger, who had access, it seems, earlier to Gen 2, has put together this video using only Runway Gen 2 text-to-video. Each shot was prompted, and then he used voices generated with 11 labs to write a story based on a tweet GPT-4 wrote. That that tweet, just, that tweet was, I just had a dream that I was an AI and woke up in a lab. What does it mean? So this is a full-on video that uses entirely AI from the scripting to the inspiration to the voices and now to the actual video itself. And that's pretty remarkable. John is also thinking about how amazing it's going to be when you first start to see the ability for people to create video game worlds as well. Anyways, guys, this is just the beginning for text to video. It feels, like I said, like a zero to one moment. I anticipate so much creativity exploding. If you are in the Runway Discord, they're making announcements about when and how they're going to continue rolling out the beta. It's not like there's any one room in there where if you get access to it, you somehow have this. They're just kind of rolling it out piece by by piece, but they say that everyone will have access to Gen 2 soon. I'm sure as we do, the creativity is just going to explode, and I can't wait to see what people make. Till next time, guys. Peace.